Answer your question. You say in a pioneering role like this, you, one needs to develop a lot of initiatives. Uh, one needs to reach out. And we've done so much of that. In doing so much of that, as I'm talking to you, we are partnering with the British Council. We've marketed what we want to do and they are interested there. We are partnering with them in the science area. Uh, they've been here. We've also been to them. Uh, they've asked us our programs. They are looking at which areas it will come in. And of course, uh, if you are aware, they came at uh, the first Lagos Science Festival. Not only the Lagos director, they also brought their country director. And at that time, they also had some exhibition. So we are doing that on one side. Uh, that's the, the British Council. We are reaching to other foreign organizations as well. Locally too, we are reaching out to them. The digital village you spoke about, yes, um, uh, Microsoft provided the software. And uh, we actually, Lagos State Government uh, funded about 80% of the project, 80-90% of the project. But we had uh, organizations like Microsoft contributing, uh, donating uh, uh, software. Uh, we have Omatech donating some pieces. We, we had Zynos donating some pieces, but Lagos State Government funded about 85% of the project. So it's, it's public-private sector partnership. Uh, that's one of the, the concepts of this administration of Governor Ashiwa Jibola Ahmed Tinubu. And we are doing that and taking it to the next level. Uh, so we are partnering with everybody that will help our society. Yeah, as a tech sector. Can you project a bit, what is the future like? The future of e-governance, science and technology, and legacy, and in Nigeria as a whole? Well, uh, the future is very bright. Um, Lagos State is coming up with all sorts of very good ideas, brilliant ideas, and other governments are uh, coming here to find out about this uh, so that they themselves will be able to copy this. So, once we are bringing in these ideas and they, are, they don't mind copying it and then uh, establishing it in different states and the federal government, then the society will be better for it. I think it's right. I think it's going to uh, promote efficiency. I think it's going to uh, enhance development. I think it's going to be good for our people. I think it's going to enable us to compare with the rest of the world. I think Nigeria will gradually be leaving the class of uh, developing country and one day will become a developed country. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can you tell us what you know about HIV? Mm, HIV is an infection that um, is a sexually transmitted uh, infection that can be contacted through sexual in intercourse. And um, again, there are, there are um, other means of contacting it, which includes sharing the same needle sharing the same sharp object, anything that has contact with the blood. Yes. Uh, now, in your own opinion, do you think the present efforts on this uh, prevention is uh, adequate? Uh, well, there's always room for improvement because it's, it is an attitudinal thing. Um, it requires a lot of mental effort, more psychological ways rather than this um, approach, I think uh, uh, a more a more adequate approach would be to use the religious organizations, because I believe personally that when you use when a pastor says don't do this, the the, the congregation are more likely to listen. But I don't think we are doing much in that regard presently. What advice now do you have for government in our attempts to make sure that the disease is uh, reduced to the barest minimum? I would say the government should get the religious body more involved. More involved. And then uh, it's also part of the, the things that has happened to our culture and our morale. And then I think introducing moral instruction too in the school could will actually help. God bless you.
about it? Yes, actually, I've heard about it. Uh, well, I have people talking about it, and so many places we've been watching it on television. We had it on radio that HIV exists, and you see, they show it. So, I believe HIV exists. Uh, as the way I read it, I used to read a lot. Uh, Some times ago, I read a book that talks about AIDS. And how we can prevent it, I think, is by using condom, which everybody knows. When you have oral sex, you can contact it through having horror sex. That is how you can contact it. But the way you can play safe not to have it is by using your condom. Pardon, please, can you come again? My dear brother, even the baby in the pregnancy know about it. The reason why I said this is that you see the government they freely tried a lot. They've helped us. There is a program I used to hear early in the morning and in one of these uh, stations. They used to talk about AIDS. Everybody knows AIDS is true. Sure you understand. So the little advice I have for we guys or everybody, the Nigerians is we should play safe whenever we are having sex. And you see those people that they are already in contact with the disease, we should not dissolve them. We should make sure we show them love, we show them, I mean, we show them caring, so you understand. With that, it will make them live long. Actually, not the eggs that really kills them, but the fear that, ah, I'm, I'm having eggs. That's what kills most of them. So I believe we should show them love, we should appreciate them, since we don't contact it through body contact or any other thing. So I think we should, we should not neglect them in our society. That's my own. Yeah, you are welcome. Um, my name is Buki Adebi from Lagos State University. Have you heard about the work that Yes, I've heard about it. On television, radio stations, campaign everywhere in school and everywhere. So from what do you understand about the meaning of the Ah, I think it's um, STDs, it's caused by so many things, razors, through sexual intercourse, and it's a deadly disease anyway. I think abstinence. Yeah. What about other means? Um, being faithful to your spouse, if you have one, then if you are not married, abstinence is the best, the best way. How will you describe the present effort? Will you say it's adequate or is it more to be done? I think it's very, very adequate because it's everywhere. I think everybody hears about it one way or the other. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Look at me. All right, all right. HIV is a deadly disease. Yeah, often, yeah, often, often. On air, on radios, on papers. It's, in fact, it's a rampant deadly disease that one has to keep at arm length. If possible, just deviate from it totally. It is deadly and it is common among the youth. In our social world now, youth sees this sex, uh, this, they see sex as a means of that is being socially inclined. That is, if you want to live on top of the world, you want to live as a, you try to use the common word guy. If you want to let people uh, is create your awareness, uh, that is, if you want to be, that is, uh, recognized in the society, you mix up with this social, uh, should I say, rough, social roughness, and it is centered around boys and girls, and then in making the issue HIV is like it is commonly uh, pronounced um, 18, that is difficult to put to an end. But on a very serious note, this is a disease. Like we know before now, it's been existing. Uh, it's been everywhere, maybe in the Western world. Just as it, it, it has not been that a thing that is uh, so common in Nigeria. But when it came, on, uh, came, into, came into Africa, it was prominent around some African country. Now it's in Nigeria and it's rampant among Nigerian youth. Like we do hear that thousands are died daily, thousands are 
contacted the uh, deadly disease daily. But God knows how it occurs, how it came out. In fact, how it came about. But when I went to, I went to general sometimes, and I saw what is. But I was surprised that this what is has been existing even before now. The AIDS has been existing, but there has not been a thing that has been on earth. But today you see as a thing that it, it has become a topic, it has become a means of employment, it has become a means of livelihood for people because they want to lay emphasis on the danger that is the efficacy of these deadly diseases. So, in a nutshell, I'll give advice to the youth that youth they should abstain from uh, sexual intercourse. Is, in fact, even if they must do, they should hold on to one partner and they should use condom, like it's commonly used, uh, said, that they use condom and they should. We should be scared. They should be fearful that our life is so precious. Their life is very important. If they love their life, if they love their life, if they love their partners, if they love the society, there is need for them to keep this thing as Hamlin. But there is a need for them to, to, to eradicate this thing, that is by putting a total end to this thing, this deadly disease. That is just that. So, so. so you know, we will discuss the efforts being put into his publicity and personal awareness. Mm -hmm. We will discuss that as well now. Um, to some extent, it's enough. It's enough. To some extent, it's enough. Just that our youths are very, very, they are very obdurate. They are stubborn. They see, they see, they never uh, listen to that. Is to, to they, they, they forgot to look at it. that is looking after the hurdles of the deadly disease, not realizing that this thing would come someday. You just like my friend, my teacher, always say that you should be prepared for the sanctity. If you are prepared, if you pre actually prepare for the sanctity, you should be, you should learn to know that something deadly is coming and you should learn to know that the best way to keep up from something deadly is to keep to yourself. If you keep yourself safe, it then means you are prepared for the uncertainty. Your certainty can come anywhere, come from it's not from this sexual sexual intercourse only, from baby salons. Anyway, they are now uh, the awareness so far is a bit making improvement there. It's okay, it's okay. Just that there should be more, there should be it should go more. If possible, if you go to institution, if possible, they make some tradition as regards these courses, as regards this effect on campuses, that should be course as regards that. So we start to school. There are some that, that they see this disease as just a disease. They never